Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the weekly contest 382. Uh, find the maximum number of elements in subset. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you about. Let me know what you think about this one. This one can be very tricky for sure. Um, I think. Yeah, I mean, it, it can be. But the key thing to. I mean, there are a couple of things you can think about it. But this one, you can think about this as squaring and then uh, the key. Um, at least in terms of wrong answer, because I don't think it should stop you from solving it, but it may give you some trouble, is that it has an odd number, it's odd length. So you, you, basically, uh, another way of phrasing though, is that you have two of x, two of x squared, two of x to the fourth, dot, 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 but only one x to the k. So that's pretty much the idea. The idea that I had is just simulating all the sequence um, but of course n is 10 to the fifth so if you do it naively you are going to run into n squared complexity right for example um you know uh, the way that i would think about it is that i just look for like in a brute force simulation e kind of way uh, let's say we start with the sequence two then we see are there two twos yes are there two fours are there two sixteens are there two thirty twos or uh, 256 actually right and uh and 256 square another thing to kind of be it's nice about though it doesn't really matter i don't think is that um each number is square of the previous number and you just have to count the number uh whether there are two of each number in the sequence except for the last number so there are some edge casey stuff but that's basically the idea um however the, the thing that i would say is that um for 10 to the fifth, actually, I'm kind of wrong. I'm lying about this one, right? Because 10 foot to the fifth um, is just like, I don't know, 2 to the 18 or something, 2 to the 17, uh, 2 to the, yeah, 17, right? So 17 squared should be okay. Because I actually did a, a little bit of a thing because I was worried about this during the contest is that um, if you're not careful and you start at 2, Right, it's going to take you know x time, and then four, sixteen, dot dot dot. So this is also going to take x time, say. Um, so then, if you sum it up, it's going to be x square. But like I said, actually, I'm, I'm a little bit wrong about this one because even if you use two, it can only go up. Well, it's two to the seventeen. So actually, I'm even wrong on that one. It's not even seventeen square. And for a second, I thought it'll be seventeen square. But this is actually means that it'll be two, two to the two, two to the four. 2 to the 8, and then 2 to the 16 already. So that means that this is at most like 5 square. So actually, yeah, um, so I definitely still optimized it for it, but it's not even necessary. But I'll go over my code, but that's really the idea. I don't even know why I needed to, you don't even need to sort it in that case, but I guess I sorted it because I wanted to dedupe. Um, let me actually take a look at my submission time real quick, because uh, I'm just curious how, you know. Uh, I got a lot of wrong answers in Q4, but uh, I got time limited for the, but uh, for an edge case reason that will go over. So this is 809. Um, if I actually remove this part, I think we should still be fine. Um, let's give a submit real quick. Uh, but I'll, I'll explain why I did that just in case in the future. So yeah, I didn't even need that. So it is should be slower, but not by much. Yeah. Um, and maybe contest time it is that way slower, but yeah. But the idea here is that okay, we have the special case out the one because it goes, you know, uh, and this is where I messed up and got the time limit exceeded is because this loop goes infinity, infinity. Um, but of course, if you have one, then then it just have as many ones as you can have, and that's going to be um, just the number of ones you have, except for it has to be odd number. So I, I, I was too lazy to come up with formulas, so I just basically did if. If it's an even number, then we just subtract by one. And so then now we have a, the biggest odd number. So then that's basically it. And then we just continue. The, uh, and then we try every sequence. Uh, we start with two. And so X is going to start with two and then three and then dot, 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 because it is sorted on the keys. Um, and then, yeah, we just kind of go two and then four and then eight and then dot, dot, dot. We get the number of count. And then basically, um, Yeah, one more here. We keep on going. So basically, the um, 
the uh, determination is that f of is going to be this, right? So this is saying if this is exactly one, uh, if it's exactly one, or because if it's two, then it would have looped more. But anyway, if it's exactly one, then you have one more for the odd. And then here we just basically, um, yeah, maybe I could have at, went this a different way, right? Like maybe I could have just done like, doo -doo 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 -doo. but I I don't know. It's fine. But yeah, but this assumes that. Uh, yeah, basically everything except for the last number. So this is the length going upwards, right? So then now we're, we're subtracting the last number. Uh, we double it because we need it to be doubled. And then we add one more back in for the, la you know, for the prim, whatever you will. And then we just kind of update it. And the reason why I have this thing here to is so that in the future, this would be false. So we don't do it again, right? So basically we calculate two here and if, if we already updated for four, four cannot give you the best answer because it's a substring. So, um, so I kind of took it out here. But like I said, the complexity doesn't matter that much, or like it's not that much slower. So, so I, in in retrospect, I wouldn't worry about it. But I didn't do the math, and I didn't. I was worried about TLE. So uh, yeah, don't. Ironically, I get. The, I did get a TLE, but for x is equal to one. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Uh, in this case. The way that we did it here, you don't even need to sort it. Um, so if you don't sort it, then uh, like I said, this does at most like five loops, right? Six loops, something like this. So uh, so this is going to be roughly O of n times six or something like that. If you want, it's very rough. It's very upper bound because you know not every number can even reach six, and of course you only go linear once, roughly speaking, um, because the number of keys is not going to go that high either. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's why. Well, I kind of lied on this one because the length is 10 to the fifth, but the numbers can be 10 to the nine. So it can, but that's still not that much more, right? Because two to the 16, you only take one more number to two to the 32. So this is like seven instead of six or something. So still doesn't change the analysis at all. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, uh, you could watch me solve a live during the contest now. Two zero. K can be any non negative power of two. Two, four. <clears throat> mm. Hmm. It's just simulation, but how do I do it smartly? It's an annoying problem, for sure. Um,
isn't enough. This will time out. Don't submit this. Three zero. Uh, why? Oh. There are at least two numbers. So I guess this could be just one. Okay, but this will time out. Unless I do something which is um, Long time out. Uh, why would this time out? Oh, oh man, that is dumb, Larry. I forgot to do the once. Ah, uh, I I was thinking about it, but I forgot. Hmm. Okay, silly Larry. Um. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. If this is even. <laughs> That's not right either, Larry. Oh, this is if this is even, like, right. yeah. Okay, ah, silly mistake. I wonder. If yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this poem, this explanation, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye. Eh?